How to Build a Grooming Arm for Small Dogs With the onset of the recession, we, like many other families, needed to cut back on non-essential expenses. We purchased clippers for our two shih tzus when we first got the dogs. However, we found a groomer that really did a good job of trimming them just kind of the way we wanted. Unfortunately, the cost for the two of them was $100 a trip, and we really could use that money in other ways. We tried grooming without a grooming arm and found it too difficult to keep the dogs in one place. So I began looking online for grooming arms and found many, many available. The least cost unit I found was $19.99 plus shipping and handling, and the prices went up from there. However, after looking at all the grooming arms on the internet, I came up with an idea to build one myself. So I went to our local big box hardware store to see what the cost of parts would be and here's what I found and eventually purchased. One one half inch 90 degree conduit elbow, $2.68. One one half inch 10 foot straight conduit pipe, $1.47. Two one half inch couplers with set screws, $1.19. One one half inch connector with a set screw, $1.58. One exterior outlet cover, metal, $1.98. One one-quarter inch by two inch threaded eye bolt, $0.68. Cents. Four one inch number 14 wood screws, $0.72. Cents. The total for the parts was $10.40. Now I didn't need 10 foot of the conduit, but that was the shortest I could find. Also, I only needed one one-half inch connector with a set screw, but they came in a package of three. Here are the tools I used. Hacksaw, screwdriver, sandpaper and or file, drill with a quarter inch bit, hammer, set punch or a heavy nail, and a vise or some device to hold the conduit while cutting and drilling. Measuring your dog. Measure the height of your dog from the bottom of the front paw to the top of the head, and then measure the length of your dog from the shoulder to the rear. Now for cutting and assembly. Cut a section of the half inch conduit equal to the height of the dog as previously measured. Note that the 90 degree elbow will provide an additional 7 inches to the vertical height. So if your dog is 10 inches high to the top of its head, the total height from the tabletop surface to the horizontal bar would be 17 inches. Cut another section of the half inch conduit equal to the length of the dog as previously measured from the shoulder to the rear. Again note that the 90 degree elbow will provide an additional 7 inches to the horizontal length. Here's the hard part if you don't have a vise. Clamp the horizontal piece of the conduit tightly using a vise or some other clamping mechanism. Using a hammer and a set punch or a heavy nail, make a small dent approximately 2 inches from one end of the conduit. Drill a 1 quarter inch hole all the way through both sides of the conduit, keeping both holes centered between the sides of the pipe as shown. Sand or file all exposed rough edges left by the hacksaw and the drill. Drill 4 1 quarter inch holes in the outlet cover. Two will probably exist, so you will simply need to drill an additional two, as shown, then set the cover aside. Inset the eye bolt through the hole in the drilled horizontal conduit. Tighten the nut on the top side of the conduit, but don't over tighten as the conduit may flatten. Note you can use a wing nut to make tightening and adjustment easier. Place a coupler on either end of the 90 degree elbow and tighten the set screws. Place the horizontal conduit piece on one end of the 90 degree elbow, ensuring that the eye bolt is in alignment with the elbow's vertical side. Tighten the set screw. Place the vertical conduit piece on the other end of the 90 degree elbow and, again, tighten the set screw. The result will be an L-shaped piece of continuous conduit. Remove the locked nut ring from the one half inch connector and screw the connector into the top of the outlet cover and tighten. Note the package may contain filler caps so the unused threaded holes are not exposed. Insert the one half inch vertical conduit into the connector attached to the outlet cover 
and tighten the set screw making sure the flat portions of the outlet cover are parallel to the horizontal conduit as shown. The outlet cover should come with a rubber gasket and you will want to use it if you are clamping to a surface such as a table or countertop. If you want to affix the rubber gasket to the plate, just use some contact cement. I don't recommend the Gorilla type glues as they expand and you may not end up with a flat surface. Double sided tape will work as well. If you want to permanently mount the grooming arm, then simply use the wood screws and attach the outlet cover to a table. Use all four screws to ensure stability and strength. If you want to be able to clamp the arm to other surfaces, such as a table or countertop, I used hand clamps as shown. However, just about any clamp, including C clamps, will work. Just make sure you clamp both sides of the outlet cover to ensure it's stable. Now for the harness. You have a few options here. First, you could buy an inexpensive leash, cut it to the proper length, plus 3 inches, feed it through the eye bolt, and tie it off. Second, you could buy a medium sized S hook, loop it through the eye bolt, tie a knot in your current leash at the proper length of the dog. Slide the knot over the S-hook and then hook it to the dog's collar. Third, you could fashion your own harness with a small rope, tie it to the eye bolt and then to the collar. Fourth, I used a split leash we have for walking the two dogs and simply adjusted the length of one side and clipped it to the eye hook. Important, your dog needs room to comfortably move so be careful not to have the harness too short which could cause choking. Also, position the arm in the middle of the edge of the grooming surface so the dog won't accidentally fall. Do not leave your dog unattended while it's on the table and or in the harness. This arm makes grooming a really easy job.